Welcome to NetSuite for Government. In this session, we'll explore how the bill capture functionality fits into the procure-to-pay workflow, focusing on the optical character recognition feature for processing vendor bills. We received a bill in our email from the vendor, and now let's use NetSuite's bill capture feature to process it. First, we'll select the bill we want to attach. Once the file is attached, we can upload the file. The status will indicate OCR process pending as it progresses. This OCR feature identifies the recognizable features from the invoice, and when completed, it will automatically populate those features into the invoice fields. We will see information such as the upload date, the file name, the vendor bill date, and due date. Under Actions, we'll click the Review link, and the original invoice will appear in a side-by-side -side view. On the right-hand side, the data from the invoice is populated into the system's invoice fields through the OCR. The user would validate these fields and then select the remaining information from the dropdowns or add the data into the fields manually. On the review of the scanned invoice, the related item information is captured along with the purchase order number, quantities, and cost. The departments and locations will come in directly from the purchase order. With the data in place, we can save for later or create the bill. Let's go ahead and create the bill. This is where the system kicks off any workflow approvals that are configured for vendor bills. If there are any two-way or three-way matches, these are applied, then it's forwarded to the departments to review and approve. The approver will click the Approve button, and once the vendor bill is approved, it will be available for payment. Before we make the payment, we'll navigate back to the project dashboard to review the actual budgets. On the Budget screen, the Actuals column will now reflect the PO total. For our example, we can see the $52,500 that was associated with the purchase order, 